to the place about the SEC's 0-4 start. Um, I don't want to say it doesn't mean anything, but does it really mean very much when you look at the isol is every, every game in isolation? Well, if you have to celebrate, Paul, and I think a lot of the footprint celebrates the success of the SEC in the postseason and is often and quick to pound their chest and chant SEC in stadiums all across the country when the SEC is victorious, sure. Uh, I think that if you're going to take the good in, you must also acknowledge the bad. And I think what's most troubling is that the SEC on now four separate occasions, Paul, has been the less physical team on the field. That includes that of what I thought was a spirited effort last night or yesterday afternoon, excuse me, from the Auburn Tigers. I thought they played insanely hard and deserved credit. They lost the game, but they played really, really hard and played very physical against a quality Houston team. But as far as the other three matchups are concerned, I thought Missouri hung in there and battled, did some nice things. Of course, didn't have enough there at the very end. But Florida's performance was inexcusably bad. And last night, to add insult to injury, Mississippi State got beat up and beat up badly. To see a team beat up that badly um, from a physical standpoint was eye-opening. Against a Texas Tech team that's not necessarily known for being the most physical bunch in the world, I thought their effort left something to be desired, and people have pointed to, well, they had a lot of COVID-positive tests. Okay, well, if you take the field with the Mississippi State uniform on, I would expect you to play to a certain standard, and that standard last night was nowhere near good enough. So uh, I thought that was a very disappointing performance, and it's been a horrendous bowl season so far for the SEC. And, and Paul, you just can't put lipstick on a pig. You can't. Mike Leach's final season at Washington State was 6-7 and seven. last year. He won the bowl game and, and the fight afterwards, uh, and they finished 4-7. and seven. And then this year it's 7-6. and, and six. I, I'm not trying to connect anything other than to ask you about Mike Leach and and where, where does this program go uh, in year three under him? Uh, I think they have a lot of things to sort out. Um, when you look at this offense, there were times, and I think they're the most inconsistent team I saw all year. I mean, the bright spots, Paul, were outrageously bright. I mean, you think about the performance in the second half against Auburn and then the performance in the first half against Auburn. That should sum it up in and of itself. You see the great games that they had throughout the course of the season. A&M was a good one. And then you look at the eggs that they laid, no pun intended, against Ole Miss. The egg that they laid against Alabama. And then finally, the icing on the cake, the performance against Texas Tech was horrendous. So um, I think they have a lot to sort out. And Mike Leach is, is a good quality coach, but you have to be more balanced. That's the first thing. The second thing, you can't leave your tackles on islands because against teams that can rush the passer, you're going to have some serious issues. And then I think also defensively, when you look at how they've structured in the past, they're really good in the middle of the defense. That's really, really solid. But against teams that have athleticism on the perimeter, Alabama, Texas Tech, Ole Miss, the quick passes to the perimeter really hurt them. So they have to get more athletic defensively. The good news is the portal is open, and these are areas that can be addressed rather quickly. And if one offseason, Mike Leach is willing to look internally and say, hey, man, we cannot keep doing it the way we've done it for the last 20 years. We're going to have to adapt. We're going to have to change. You look at some of the other air raid teams that have gone about those changes, they're starting to have success running the football. They're starting to have success by winning in multiple ways. Right now, Mike Leach, he can't win that many multiple ways. They have to win a very specific way, and that specific way is going to lead to a lot of inconsistencies. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.